हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल सो लेट इस कंटिन्यू फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स इन फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स फ्रॉम लास्ट टू वीडियोस वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट बॉन्ड्स और यू नो डेट सिक्योरिटीज सो बेसिकली वेन एवर फ्रेंड्स वी से बॉन्ड्स वी विल मीन डेट सिक्योरिटीज सो बॉन्ड्स ऑल्सो मीन्स डिबेंचर्स ओके ऑल दो वी हैव सीन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन बॉन्ड्स एंड डिबेंचर्स बट फ्रॉम नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स वेन एवर आई से बॉन्ड्स इट विल ऑल्सो इंक्लूड डिबेंचर्स ओके सो जस्ट कीप दिस इन माइंड बेसिकली वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट डेट सिक्योरिटीज अबाउट द डेट मार्केट्स सो डेट मार्केट्स और ऑल्सो नोन एज बॉन्ड मार्केट्स दिज आर जस्ट डिफरेंट टर्मिनोलॉजीज दैट वी यूज सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग दैट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बॉन्ड्स ओके सो वी ऑलरेडी नो वॉट आर बॉन्ड्स वॉट इज क्रेडिट रेटिंग हाउ क्रेडिट रेटिंग इज गिवन टू डिफरेंट बॉन्ड्स वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्रेडिट रेटिंग्स विच आर द डिफरेंट इंडियन कंपनीज विच गिव क्रेडिट रेटिंग्स इन इंडिया ओके वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दैट नाउ लेट एस स्टडी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बॉन्ड्स सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल जस्ट एन्यूमरेट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बॉन्ड्स हाउ दे आर क्लासीफाइड इन डिफरेंट वेज सो बॉन्ड्स आर क्लासीफाइड बेस्ड ऑन डिफरेंट क्राइटेरिया सो द फर्स्ट क्राइटेरिया इज बेस्ड ऑन हु हैज इशूड द बॉन्ड ओके सो द फर्स्ट क्लासीफिकेशन द फर्स्ट क्लासीफिकेशन ऑफ बॉन्ड्स would be depending on who has issued so depending on who has issued the bonds are government bonds municipal bonds or corporate bonds okay government bonds meaning they are issued by either the central government that is government of india or by the state governments okay different state governments like government of maharashtra government of uttar pradesh government of tamil nadu etc the bonds which are issued by the state governments they are also known as sdl okay sdl state development loans i am just telling you all this terminologies because if any question comes in prelims you should be able to know okay we are, you have already studied this but but just because you don't know the terminology you may not be able to answer that's why i am mentioning every terminology that is important so depending on who has issued the first type of bond is government bonds in government bonds central government bonds state government bonds state government bonds are called state development loans okay this is one second one is municipal bonds so now municipal bonds are issued by municipalities or municipal corporations okay municipalities or municipal corporations now again they are government bodies only so they are a kind of government bonds but they are of different category okay they have some different characteristics that we will study that's why they are characterized separately and the third kind is corporate bonds corporate bonds are obviously issued by private corporates private companies okay so they are issued by private companies they are known as corporate bonds in india friends unfortunately corporate bond market is very weak okay it is not very strong it is not very well developed and therefore the companies the private companies are not able to obtain a lot of debt securities okay they are not able to issue a lot of debt securities because the bond or debt market in india for corporate bond is weak it is not so much developed and this is one of the reasons why uh, you know lot of people invest or put their savings in banks and not in these markets uh, in india equity market is developing but bond market is yet to develop so this is one important point this can be used in mains also okay that i wanted to mention here then the second thing is uh, based on the time of redemption so bonds are classified as either redeemable bond or irredeemable bond now redeemable means what obviously the whenever the maturity comes for example there is a bond with maturity of 10 years okay so it is issued say on 1st january 1999 and the maturity is 10 years so it will be uh, you know maturing on 1st january 2009 after 10 years now obviously on attaining maturity you have to redeem it the company has to pay back but redeemable bond meaning they can be redeemed before the maturity so the redeemable bonds can be redeemed before maturity for example they can be they can be redeemed in 2005 okay irredeemable bonds are the bonds which cannot be redeemed before maturity so they have to be redeemed at the maturity only this is the difference okay so you just keep this in mind then based on the rate of return okay how the rate of return is decided 
uh, for a given bond so either it is a fixed interest okay so the bond will pay you fixed interest over a period of time for example again if it is a bond of maturity 10 year and the interest rate or the coupon rate interest or coupon rate is say 5 percent per year so for all the 10 years it will remain 5 percent that is known as fixed interest then there is another called floating rate floating rate meaning the the rate of interest rate of coupon or rate of interest it will float float meaning it will change it will change every six month or every year or you know whenever it is decided by the issuer by the company so floating meaning it will change like for example at the time of issuance the rate is five percent then maybe say after six months the company feels that you know now the uh, interest rates in the market have gone down so it wants to reduce it to 4.5 percent again after six months maybe it increases to five percent then again it increases to six percent like that it it floats so these are known as floating rate bonds frbs then the third type is index linked so the rate of interest or the rate of return or the rate of coupon are linked to some index so that index can be cpi consumer price index it can be wpi or it can be anything okay it can be any index it can be linked to sensex for example depending on the movement in sensex which is the bombay stock exchange uh, indicator of uh, the uh, bombay stock exchange so it can be linked to that also so it can be any index linked okay so depending on where where this index go the rate of interest will either increase or decrease and then there is a fourth type which is known as deferred interest deferred interest meaning for example if the bond issued is say of 30 years so in deferred interest usually in the initial period the company doesn't pay interest it will pay interest in the ending year like for example say after 20 years so from 21st year to 30 year it will pay you interest so that is known as deferred interest the reason behind this is that for example if a company is starting a new business so initially maybe it will not be able to generate a lot of profit so that is why it does not promise interest in the initial years but later on once it is established say after 20 years it is able to pay you interest so it pays you all the interest after 20 years so you know it depends so that is known as a deferred interest deferred interest meaning the interest payments will be made later on at the time of maturity or you know just before maturity that is known as deferred interest so uh, these are the different uh, types of bonds depending on the rate of interest now let us look at the next type so the next type is based on convertibility this is very important okay now convertibility meaning what converting a bond converting a bond or debt debt security into equity right we have seen the two types of markets one is debt market and equity market so some of the bonds some of the debt securities can be converted into equity also at, at the time of maturity so they are known as convertible bonds okay they are known as fully convertible bonds so in fully convertible bonds these are the type of bonds where the where, where the bonds are converted into equity at the time of maturity at the time of maturity whenever there is a maturity these bonds will be converted to equity so the bond holders the issuers will not actually pay back the money okay at the time of maturity but they will issue equivalent amount of shares or equity to the people who are holding these bonds at a fixed conversion rate so for example they can have some fixed conversion rate that you know at say 500 for 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 every 500 rupees you will get one share something like that so the rate of conversion is fixed then there are bonds which are partially convertible partially convertible meaning if say the bond is say 10,000 rupees so maybe 50% can be converted 50% cannot be converted so at the time of maturity the bond holders will get 50% their money back along with interest and the remaining 50% will be converted to equity they are known as partially convertible this this ratio can differ it can be 60 40 it can be 10 90 anything then there are non convertible non convertible obviously are the bonds which are not converted into equity which remain a bond throughout at the maturity there you have to pay back the principal and interest and then there is a fourth type which is known as optionally fully convertible okay optionally fully convertible now optionally fully convertible means that the investors have the option to either convert it into equity or not so the option is with the investors with the people who have invested 
सो एट द टाइम ऑफ मैच्योरिटी दे कैन से ओके वी वॉन्ट एक्विटी और नो वी वॉन्ट मनी सो दे हैव दैट ऑप्शन बट इन केस दे ऑप्ट फॉर कन्वर्शन इफ दे ऑप्ट फॉर कन्वर्शन द रेट ऑफ कन्वर्शन विल बी डिटर्मिन बाय द इशूअर बाय द कंपनी ओके सो द रेट ऑफ कन्वर्जन इज डिटर्मिन बाय इशूअर बट द ऑप्शन टू कन्वर्ट इज एक्सरसाइज बाय द इन्वेस्टर सो दिस इज नोन एज ऑप्शनली फुल्ली कन्वर्टिबल नाउ फ्रेंड्स कीप वन थिंग इन माइंड दैट कन्वर्टिबल बॉन्ड्स आर यूजअली द प्राइवेट बॉन्ड्स ओके और डिबेंचर्स सो कन्वर्टिबल आर यूजअली डिबेंचर्स सो दीज आर पार्शली कन्वर्टिबल डिबेंचर्स फुल्ली कन्वर्टिबल डिबेंचर्स ऑप्शनली फुल्ली कन्वर्टिबल डिबेंचर्स एंड नॉट बॉन्ड्स ओके सो बॉन्ड्स यूजअली आर इश्यूड बाय लार्जर कॉर्पोरेट्स एंड गवर्नमेंट बट कन्वर्टिबिलिटी इज यूजअली अ फैक्टर फॉर डिबेंचर्स ओके इट इज यूजअली अ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ डिबेंचर्स जस्ट कीप दिस इन माइंड also the convertible bonds they pay lower interest usually okay they pay lower interest because they have option to convert to equity okay if a company is going to grow and you know the equity or the share price is going to rise very high so the investor knows that after 10 years i will be able to get a much higher profit if i have option to convert okay if it is going to convert so they usually pay lower interest okay because there is an option to convert to equity right so keep this in mind that the convertible bonds pay lower interest rate than the non convertible bonds now let us come to the next type so the next type is based on registration okay if there are registered bonds for example uh, you know abc is a person so a person abc has invested in a bond and the bonds are registered in his name for example uh, you know bonds are na- uh, registered in my name akshay agrawal so even if i lose the physical copy you know these days there are no physical copies but even if i lose the physical copy of the bond you know i will if i can prove that i am akshay agrawal i will be able to you know redeem my bonds so they are known as registered bonds then there is another type of bond which are known as bearer bonds so bearer bonds meaning jiske hath mein kagaz ka tukda hai the one who is holding the bond will get the money it does so there is no name written on it so akshay agrawal will not be written on that bond it will just be a bearer bond सो so, जिसके हाथ में बॉन्ड है उसका वो है सो इट सो यू नो इट इट्स लाइक अवर करेंसी नोट सो करेंसी नोट ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज अभी करेंसी नोट के ऊपर किसी का नाम लिखा होता है क्या कि यू uh, नो you know, ये पाँच सौ रुपये अक्षय अग्रवाल के हैं या ये एक्स वाई जेड पर्सन के हैं नो करेंसी नोट जिसके हाथ में है वो उसकी है सो बियरर बॉन्ड्स आर लाइक दैट ओके देर इज नो नेम रिटर्न ऑन इट जिसके हाथ में है जिसके पास है वो उसका हो जाएगा सो दे आर नोन एज बियर बॉन्ड्स देन बेस्ड ऑन कूपॉन्स ओके कूपॉन्स आर नथिंग बट द इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट्स ओके इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट्स एट अ फिक्स्ड इंटरवल सो दे आर यूजुअली सिक्स मंथली ओके कूपन आर यूजुअली सिक्स मंथली दे कैन बी क्वार्टरली आल्सो एन्युअल आल्सो बट यूजुअली इन इंडिया फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द बॉन्ड्स दे आर सिक्स मंथली सो इफ इफ अ बॉन्ड हैज अ कूपन दे आर नोन एज कूपन बॉन्ड्स इफ देर आर नो कूपन्स दे आर नोन एज जीरो कूपन बॉन्ड्स ओके आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन टू यू द मीनिंग ऑफ जीरो कूपन बॉन्ड्स जीरो कूपन बॉन्ड्स आर द बॉन्ड्स विच डोंट हैव एनी कूपन्स अटैच टू देम देर फोर दे आर सोल्ड एट डिस्काउंट ओके दे आर सोल्ड एट डिस्काउंट सोल्ड एट डिस्काउंट मीनिंग एट अ प्राइस लेसर दैन द फेस वैल्यू ओके लेसर दैन द फेस वैल्यू दे आर सोल्ड एट अ प्राइस लेसर दैन द फेस वैल्यू बिकॉज दे डोंट हैव एनी कूपन दे डोंट हैव एनी रेट ऑफ फिक्स रेट ऑफ रिटर्न दैट इज मैंशन ऑन द बॉन्ड सो देर फोर दे आर सोल्ड एट डिस्काउंट नाउ फेस वैल्यू इज ऑल्सो नोन एज पार वैल्यू ओके आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग दिस टर्मिनोलॉजीज टू यू दे आर ऑल्सो नोन एज पार वैल्यू so sold at par means okay sold at par means they are sold at the face value face value meaning bond ke upar jitna price likha hai that is known as face value for example 5000 rupees so it will be the uh, so the bond will be sold at face value that is 5000 rupees sold at discount meaning it will be sold at less than 5000 rupees okay and then there is a third terminology which is known as sold at premium okay sold at premium sold at premium meaning if a coupon uh, if if a bond has a face value of 5000 rupees it will be sold at say 5100 okay at a price higher than the face value so these are known as sold at premium just keep these terminologies in mind then there is a next type which is known as based on options okay options are you know they are the rights a kind of rights which are given either to the issuer of the security or to the investor of the security okay so they are the kind of options given to the issuer or investors 
if the option is given to the issuer okay it is known as call option call option so the issuer or the company which has issued the security that they can call back their bonds before maturity okay before maturity they can call back call back their bonds okay lao hamare bonds humko wapis do ya apna paisa le lo okay give us our bonds back and you take your money that is known as call option for example if a company it is doing very good in business it wants to give uh, pay back its loan okay uh, it, it has got some better loan or some better financing way it wants to uh, you know don't it doesn't want to pay money for 10 years 20 years in the form of coupon payment so what it will do it will exercise the call option it will call back all its money it, uh, all its bonds it will give back the money to the people okay so the company has the call option so depending on whether the the bond is with call option it is known as callable or non callable okay so there are two types callable or non callable similarly if the option is with the investor okay if the investor has the option to put the bond okay it is known as putting the bond so they are known as puttable or non puttable now putting the bond meaning for example if i am an investor i have invested in some company and i feel that you know uh, this company is not going to do good so i just want to take my money back from the company so i will put its bond okay put the bond and take and take my money back and get my money back so that is known as put option okay so depending on whether the investor has put option it is known as puttable or non puttable okay so the investor can put the bond before maturity so for example if the bond is of 10 years the investors can take his money back and give the bond back before 10 years that is known as put options now let us come to the next whether the bond is backed by assets or not okay whether there is any collateral whether there is any security or not okay whether there is any security or not so if it is a secured asset if it is backed by asset it is known as secured bond or collateralized bond okay example is collateral trust bond okay uh, collateral trust bonds are the secured bonds and if it is not backed by assets there is no security it is known as unsecured or promissory notes okay they are known as unsecured or promissory notes example debentures we have already seen this that we go by the us definition debentures are unsecured bonds they are unsecured securities okay so uh, these are the two types when it comes to whether they are backed by assets or not so these were the different types and terminologies of bonds depending on different uh, you know characteristics so we have seen them okay this is a very uh, you know big list uh, you please watch this video again and again to understand it might take some time for you uh, i just want you here to recall that you know when we were studying the money market the short term debt instruments okay in that video we have studied uh, you know about different short term debt instruments like t bills okay commercial papers right certificate of deposits etc so these are also a kind of bond only but they are short term debt securities okay these are also kind of bonds only these are also kind of bonds only okay those instruments are kind of bonds only but of maturity less than 1 year so functionally they are same they also have coupons they may not have coupons okay so but only difference is that they are short term they are less than 365 days that is the only difference otherwise the functionally they are the same so uh, you know just don't get confused it is just that you know they are of short short maturity that's why they are uh, they are known as uh, uh, you know uh, money market instruments so otherwise they are the same i just wanted to mention that so uh, now let us continue debt markets uh, in next video also thank you